Hello guys, welcome to the Savvy Professor and in today's video I will show you how you can make a line graph in Google Sheets. Of course for this to work and for line chart to work we need appropriate data for this. So first of all I will show this to you in a mini data sheet I created and yes in the first row of our data like this these ones up there should be labels because in legends they will show up as labels and in our first column should be numbers that will show up in the bottom or in the left side of the line graph so yes when we create the line graph better you will of course see it so how do i create my line chart all i have to do to create a line chart actually is first of all gather all my data for this I will go into top left part of my data and press my press and hold my mouse. Then I will of course scroll over and take all the data. Make sure you get all of it so that way there are no actual problems with the chart. When I grab all of my data like this and without any extra space around it, I will do insert. After insert, I will go chart. When I do chart, of course, it will give me a setup chart so I can change it and do however I like. Right now, it told me to do stacked column chart, but I, I don't want to do st stacked column chart. I want to do a line chart. So that's why I will go into chart type right under the setup button and click to it to change how it looks. After clicking it, you will see that there are different line charts and different suggested charts and everything. So I can take one of the suggested ones, like a line chart, a combo chart, a stacked area chart, or if I don't want any one of these here, I can always scroll down and see different charts. You Like you see line, area, column, bar, pie, scatter, map, and others. Of course, I want a line chart. So I can either take a direct line chart or a smooth line chart, or maybe even a combo chart but I want a line chart, a direct line chart, so I will pick that one. That way you will see that, of course, it will create all of my charts, it will give me different numbers, and after I'm done with it, it will turn it into a picture-like existence, so I can move it around easier. Right now, my first row, as you can see, was created at the beginning like this, and my, of course, ones here became like this year came to the down and I can change it if I want I can always right click and then do legend to change anything that's written here however I like I can just double click on them and just edit them like this and that is basically it guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful if it was don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel savvy professor and in any other case we hope to see you in the next video have a great day and goodbye.